Hello and welcome back to Pocket Rockets and today we're going to be taking a look at 164 cars once more. The Tomica Limited Vintage Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. So I've always been more of a Nissan guy than pretty much any other Japanese brand but this particular Mitsubishi, damn it really really hits me. So yeah, I went and bought both of them. So I've had this car the black one for about one year now and uh i never interestingly thought of doing a review on it until a few weeks ago when i saw the yellow one listed on the internet so when i first saw the yellow one listed on the internet it was, it was about one year ago and this car was still new then and uh it was going for about five four to five hundred nt but when i saw it listed on the internet a few weeks ago guess how much it was going for this thing was going for 800 to 1600 NT and, and, and that's a lot so yeah I was all like hey if I don't buy this thing anymore I probably might never ever get a chance to buy it again so I bought it and here we are double review time so these two cars are basically the same cars except from some different arrow spoilers etc so we're gonna be going through that but before we get into it, um, I do have to say that this thing does have some new wheels because I did um, kind of mess up the older wheels, so I had to install these. 164 scale BNDS, and these are supposed to be replicating the Advan Racing GT wheels. I just had to get that out of the way. So yeah, these are like the stock wheels, which I think are well fairly reasonable looking. So yeah, the first difference that I would like to point out is the interior. So as you can see for the yellow one, we have a kind of gray on black two-tone interior. But for the blue, for, for the um, black one, we have kind of like a blue and black two-tone interior. So interior-wise, I do like the yellow one more. And spoiler alert, I kind of like the yellow one overall more as well. So the pretty much the biggest difference is the just the difference in difference in the design of the front bumper i personally don't care about much too because i think they all look really really good but i do think that the yellow one still looks a bit better because it kind of when you look at it like from the top it kind of just looks like the front bumper kind of, the front bumper line really kind of flows with the whole just kind of flows with the car whereas the newer version it kind of sticks out on the edges and that's because these fog lights they they kind of look like they're they're just protruding from the car's body and it kind of looks like they're like their mouth is like stuffed full of food so i personally do prefer the yellow one and the second difference is well just the wheel design so the wheel we have like kind of like a rally wheel for the black one but like a six spoke wheel for like this one and i do like this one's wheel a bit more again and the um third and final difference is basically just the rear design so as you can see for the older one we have like more of a a bigger rear light and a more simple just a different shaped spoiler than the newer one and the, the newer one we have just a smaller just triangular headlights i mean rear light because you can see for the older one we have kind of like this extra slot which is located on the trunk but the newer one that is not there so yeah also a, a bit of a more complicated design spoiler compared to the older one and the profiles of the spoiler are also quite different the older one spoiler kind of extend all the way to the to the c pillar i think this is the c pillar and the old the newer one spoiler they kind of just stop midway so yeah i do like the older one just a bit more so now let's actually get to the detail of both cars so let me start with just one thing the paint so this thing's paint is actually not in the most ideal condition in the world and that's because it's second hand and it's been it's been sitting for quite a while so yeah you can see right here the paint is not just as glossy as i would like it to be on like on some cars like on this thing for example Look at how glossy that paint is. And this is a Hot Wheels, by the way. But yeah, this you can kind of just see. It's kind of like foggy. And uh, I don't really know if there's a way to fix this. But you can see definitely here, the uh, paint on the black one is definitely more kind of nice. Because you can kind of see like the lights reflecting off of it and stuff. And yeah. So let's start with the front on the yellow one. So the front on the yellow one, we just have the usual amazing amounts of detail we have a individual plastic piece for the front lights and 
detailed, just grills, everything, everything that should be there is there. Though I think Tomica Limited Vintage could do a better job on the uh, license plate because those things are hella thick. <laughs> yeah, the license plates on the TLBs, man, they are thick. <laughs> yeah. And moving on to the side, we have the side view mirrors, um, rear view mirrors. But yeah, sadly, we don't have the kind of the reflective stickers within them, but we can all we can always make our own. And yeah, the wheels, excellent, excellent detail. They really give the wheel kind of a lot of depth. And we got a sort of blinker, blinker detail too. And also, my favorite part about the side is the Evolution V decals. These, this this just makes this car just, just look that much more iconic. And I also just love this kind of lightning shape of this kind of wing profile. This looks so mean. And yeah, moving on to the rear, we have the same thing. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. And uh, something I can't even read up here. Yeah, probably doesn't even say anything. And uh, yeah, also the exhaust tip is just beautifully recreated we got black in the middle and that's really really nice but uh they they're, they're kind of like vents in here but they're not detailed and yeah i think i do think that the rear license plate looks a bit more normal than the front uh two thick license plates and yeah basically that will be a wrap up for the yellow one because i'm trying to keep this thing short so for the black one let's zoom in once again also individual pieces for headlights basically the same thing as the yellow one but you can see like the black one actually has like the vents are actually covering the like they're actually covering more parts the bumper than the older one so that may be for like cooling reasons and stuff and also these bnd wheels just look amazing yeah also we got the same pretty much pretty much all the same decals but except we don't have the uh evolution decal right here the evolution decal is back here and we also don't have any of the mitsubishi stuff because you can see right here we have mitsubishi right here and lancer evolution and this little mysterious thing that we can read we can't read but yeah we don't have any decals right there and also exhaust is also really really nice and we have a paint chip right here so yeah, that's basically it for both cars. This is just a really, really quick review because I'm super tired from just doing a lot of stuff. So yeah, six minutes. Uh, I think uh, that will be pretty much a wrap up for today's video. I'll try to make more videos as I try I, as I go on and uh, notice that my English is kind of slipping. So I'm also going to be working on that. So yeah, that has been Pocket Rockets. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did enjoy looking at these two cars, reviewing them with you. Yeah, I'll try to upload more videos. That's it for today's video. Goodbye.